Hi there, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you consider subscribing. Today, I'm doing a haul. Please do stay till the end of the video because I am gonna be doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway to thank you. So I've got a lot of fun stuff to share with you today. I've got some Bath & Body Works, some Fragrance Net, some Fragrance Buy, and some Ulta and Sephora. I cashed in my Ulta and Sephora points, so I've got some free stuff that was, well, I don't know how free it was because I did buy a lot to get those points. But anyway, I'm gonna start with candles. I decided I needed some fall candles because fall's right around the corner and they were on sale, so I decided to make a small order for fall candles, even though we're in candle overload at the moment. <laughs> the first one is Pumpkin Vanilla Creme. This has Creamy Pumpkin Vanilla Creme Fresh Ground Nutmeg Graham Cracker Crust with Natural Essential Oils. Beautiful, I love it, and I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors, this coral. Warm apple pie, which has baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, flaky homemade crust with natural essential oils. Delicious. So these are almost all gourmand candles, which I kind of love. So this one is salted pretzel milkshake, and it's got creamy vanilla ice cream, salted pretzel bits, gooey chocolate drizzle with natural essential oils. Beautiful. And these smell so good. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to start burning these. So I'm filming in my alternate location today because my regular filming location is so hot. So it's a little bit hot to even think about burning candles right now, but we're going with it. Okay. This is Marshmallow Fireside. And this has toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber with natural essential oils. This one's my favorite, just from sniffing the jars. This smells so good. And I love the packaging. I actually love the packaging for all of these. I think they're really cool. The last one is banana walnut muffin, which has sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin with natural essential oils. Ooh, delicious, very delicious. And I picked up a few things at the recent fragrancebuy.ca sale. And one I talked about in my Dead of Summer Fragrances video, and this is Ferrari Bright Neroli. This is so pretty. This has notes of bitter orange, citron, lemon, neroli, orange blossom, rosemary, Sichuan pepper, vetiver, amber, and patchouli. It's from the nose of Philippe Paparella Paris. And it's just a beautiful, it's just like it sounds bright neroli. It's citrusy. It's just so perfect for this time of year, and I really like this one. Gender neutral, great pickup. I can't remember how much it was. It was probably around 30 or 35. It was a great deal. I really like it. From Maison Margiela, this is Mutiny, and this one really surprised me. I didn't really know that much about it going in, but I really love it. It's got notes of orange, mandarin orange, tuberose, pear, peach, orange blossom, apple, pink pepper, saffron, vanilla, leather, patchouli, and oud. And I think this bottle is so pretty. Like you can see through to the back where it says mutiny. And I think the bottle, such a cool bottle. Anyway, so this is from the nose of Dominique Ropion. And uh, I just really like this. So it's peppery. It's just so, this is going to be perfect for fall. It's gender neutral. It's peppery. I get citruses. I get the citruses and the fruits and the florals. It's just, it's really beautiful. So I'm really excited to wear this one. This was also a good deal. I don't remember exactly how much, but really enjoying that. I grabbed Escada Joyful Moments, and this has lychee, blackcurrant, mandarin orange, pink peony, damask rose, violet leaf, honey, and vanilla. And this one is a very beautiful fruity floral. And um, I do like this. So this is really pretty. It's not mind blowing or anything. I think the bottle's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't smell like your typical escada, so it's not as tropical as a typical escada would be, but I do like it. It's a nice floral, fruity, kind of an easy reach type fragrance. Just kind of a really pleasant, sort of clean fragrance. I liked, I do like it. The last one I picked up at the Fragrance by Sale is from Juliet Has a Gun. This is Romantina. I 
think this bottle is gorgeous. It's like porcelain. So I, sometimes I don't like Juliet has a gun fragrances. Sometimes they just don't agree with me, but I do like this one. My first impression is very good. This is a sheep floral with notes of Turkish rose, bergamot, iris, patchouli, orange blossom, vetiver, tuberose, musk, setalox, castorium, vanilla, tonka bean, and benzoin. So this has really interesting notes. You definitely do get the patchouli, but it's got such a nice sprayer too. So, so it's definitely deep, rich, intoxicating, very much fall or winter, gender neutral to me. Really pretty. It's got a slight angel vibe, but I do like this. So this is Romantina from Juliet Has a Gun. Gorgeous bottle, pretty good deal. I can't remember exactly how much, but it was a good deal and I do like it. And then they sent me a Parfum de Marly Darcy sample and Wild Python from Mansara, which of course reminds me of the fabulous Lulu. It's one of her favorites. So I got a sample of that. And they sent a couple of Salvatore Ferragamo things. This is the Aqua Essentials shower gel and zinc towel. And then this Salvatore Ferragamo little travel bag. It appears to be kind of geared towards men, but um, I might use it. Who knows? So that was a pretty successful haul. And then I, like I said, I cashed in my Sephora and my Ulta points. So I picked up some fun stuff. I decided to splurge with my Sephora points and I got Water Lily Sun from Erin. This bottle is so beautiful with this green stone cap. I just love it. And this has notes of green notes, bergamot, water lily, jasmine, and musk. So it's a fairly simple composition. And it's a beautiful spring or summer fragrance. So it's very beautiful floral. It's considered a floral green fragrance. It's just, it reminds me slightly of Commodity Rain, which I also love. It's just that beautiful, bright, clean floral. So that was kind of a fun pickup. And then with my Ulta points, I picked up a few things that I've had my eye on. I got Ariana Grande REM, which is very beautiful. So this came out in 2020 and it's got notes of zephyr, caramel, fig, salt, quince, lavender, pear blossom, tonka bean, musk, and sandalwood. I have to say it actually reminds me a lot of Thank You Next by Ariana Grande, so which I also like, so it's not a bad thing. but. I just got the little one ouncer. So it's really interesting. So I think Ariana Grande makes really good fragrances. I really love, I'm actually wearing Cloud today, layered with some other stuff, but this is so pretty. It's floral. It's got some interesting kind of peppery nuances to it. Like I said, it reminds me quite a bit of Thank You Next, but I do like it. And I think Ariana Grande's fragrances layer so well with each other. So Cloud and Thank You Next are beautiful. I would layer nicely with either of those two. So I'm pretty excited about this. Very cute packaging. <laughs> Picked up from Pinrose. This is Merry Maker. And this is very pretty. This smells a lot like it could be from the Marc Jacobs Daisy line. It smells very much like a Daisy flanker to me. This was on sale for half price. So, so with my points and with the half price, I managed to get quite a bit of stuff. So, so that's Merry Maker. Mary Maker has notes of nectarine, grapefruit, cassis, plum, rose, violet, musk, moss, and tonka bean. And like I said, it just reminds me of a daisy perfume. And I don't see other people have compared it to daisy, but, or possibly Viva La Juicy. It's very pretty. It's a nice floral fruity, very much easy reach, and in line with other pin rose fragrances, which I have several and I do like them. And I got from Away is Rue Scent Honoré, I believe that's how it's pronounced. So Way is a hair care brand that also started making fragrances that I believe smell like their hair care. So this one is very much a floral. It smells like Lily of the Valley to me, but I believe that's gardenia that I keep mistaking for Lily of the Valley. Beautiful um, magnetic cap. And Rue Saint Honoré has notes of violet, gardenia, ylang ylang, and musk. So it's not a complex composition, but it's very light, bright, pretty, perfect for spring and summer, very refreshing and clean and bright and floral. I forgot to mention this in one of my previous fragrance net hauls. This is from 4711 Aqua Colonia and this is Blood Orange and Basil and this is kind of a body spray I think. It's really refreshing and pretty. Refreshing body spray. So I do like this. It's um, 
yeah, it's very um, simple composition. It's got blood orange and basil notes, very aromatic, very gender neutral. And I think it was very inexpensive. I can't remember how much it was. I want to say even less than $10, but I do like this. Very nice. Okay, I just got a fragrance net order in today and very exciting. I got this Floris Travel Spray set, which I haven't even opened yet. How beautiful is this? And I'm just gonna take the bow off. So it comes with these four half ounce travel sprays, so beautiful. And it's got night scented jasmine, Bouquet de la Reine, White Rose, and Sheepress. So Sheepress, I do have, uh, I believe, a 1.7 ounce bottle of this. It's a very pretty sheep fragrance. And I haven't tried these other three. So very excited to try these. I really like Floris. I like Sheepress. Um, it was a pretty good deal. These are all Eau de Toilettes. I'm gonna leave Sheepress out because I'm gonna include it in the giveaway. A couple samples, I got Gucci Rush 2 and I got Roberto Cavalli Florence. So, so this set was $56.50 on Fragrance Net, so that was a pretty good deal. And I don't know how much it retails for, but I'm pretty excited to try these. And I would love to hear if you've tried any of these. If you've tried anything in this haul, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts down in comments. And without further ado, we are going to talk about the giveaway. Recently hit 2,000 subscribers on YouTube and I just recently hit a thousand followers on Instagram. I'm almost up to 500 followers on TikTok. So thank you so much. I really appreciate your love and support and I'm really enjoying this journey with you. It's so much fun. So I'm giving away this beautiful box of fragrances. I've got Michael Kors Sky Blossom, which I love. This is a 1.7 ounce, very hard to find. I've got Jenny Glow Mimosa and Cardamom, which I really like. I have this one. I've got a mini of Pop Electric G from Harajuku Lovers, which is one of my favorites for summer. This little discovery set from DKNY Delicious. It's got these cute little minis in it from the DKNY Delicious line. This is Jenny Glow Freesia and Pear, which is a dupe for Jo Malone Free English Pear and Freesia, which I've done a comparison video. Spoiler alert, this is very close to the Jo Malone. Very beautiful fragrance. Yeah. Jenny Glow Berry and Bay, which is a dupe for Jo Malone's Blackberry and Bay. It's gorgeous. I love this one. Finally, this Floris Mini of Sheepress, which I just showed in the Floris Travel Spray set that I got. So you will get all of these fabulous perfumes. To enter, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel, follow me on Instagram, like this video, leave a comment down below letting me know that you're interested in entering down your Instagram username so I know how to contact you. Also follow me on TikTok if you are on TikTok. Thank you again so much. I, again, I really appreciate your love and support and I will leave the instructions down below to be doing the random drawing on Sunday, August 1st. So you have a few days to enter and good luck and thank you so much. I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.